Hi Bayas, welcome back to another story photo cards video on my channel. This is a mess, I just took like a picture for the thumbnail, so ignore, but we're just gonna get into it and start sleeving. So I did already have some stuff sleeved, like these IDs. Um, I have like a lot of POVs in today's video. Um, I'm leaving soon to like go see family um, for like the next week for Thanksgiving. And I have like a bunch of videos I have to like edit. So I was like hoping I could do that while I was gone. Um, so I wanted to like film as many videos as possible so that I have more to edit. Plus I'm trying to like clean up. And part of that is like through storing cards. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of pops mainly today. Um, but yeah, let's like just get the stuff that needs to be like white sleeved out of the way but i've much of stuff on the way in the mail and i would like to set up more trades before i quit i already i also already had this sleeved um before i like take my little break um trading oops just dropped something on the floor um i'm just like worried about like the weather that i kind of want to take a little break from trading because i mentioned this in my video i filmed yesterday but like I'm already like waiting on mail from some people and there's some people who are still waiting on mail that I've sent them to arrive like the mailing system is already getting kind of bad so I'm like ooh, I kind of want to get as much stuff done as possible so that I have like more videos to film also these are postcards that I have to store um we'll get to that soon but yeah I kind of want to like get all that out of the way first before um, I like kind of take a little break. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna stop trading like I guess technically tomorrow actually except to leave tomorrow. So yeah, um I'm like a riser dent here mama. But yeah, so like today was kind of technically my last send out day. However, I'm actually waiting on some mail from one person um, who sent first and so if I get their thing today then I'll mail it today. Um, as well, but other than that, today is technically my last send out day for mail just cause um, I don't want anything to get lost, obviously, like that would just be terrible. Um, and I think I'm gonna wait until like uh, the first week of January or so before I start like sending out again um, and like doing like trades and everything just cause I really. I hate like just mail getting lost is the worst so that's why I don't know um <laughs> but I just I'm paranoid I suppose but I just have like kind of the cards that I didn't really want to store some of them like a lot of these pubs like Lucemble and Audi Circle and like some of these Levolution pubs I kind of wanted to wait to store them because I'm not sure like how much of these I actually want to keep which is why I was like debating storing them for a while because like I don't know if I actually want to keep like my top you know four for pops or whatever um especially because like okay my bias sign for triple s is pretty solid right Soyeon, Shinwi, Yubin, and Hayden but Sohyun is like creeping up that list and low-key, like, so I might be biasing Sohyun more than I bias Shinwi. I guess, like, Sosos are just meant to be, honestly. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know what's going on. Also, gosh, this fucking pokemon size pop. Jesus. And so I'm like, I'm not sure. And the thing is, too, is, like, for, like, fan signs and stuff, I don't know why, but I always pull Sohyun for, like, winter benefits all the time. I always pull her. And I'm like, maybe this is a sign. Like, I'm always pulling her. This means that I need to bias her, you know? Plus, like, no, I don't know, like, what changed, but, like, now Sohyun is probably my favorite person to talk to during video calls. I mean, Sohyun is, like, my number one, right? But, like, Sohyun is so, like, I just like talking to her a lot. I don't know. I almost bought her from, too. I was like, shit, should I? Because I bought Soyons. I'm like, oh, I might as well get both of them. But I don't know. From is kind of a scam. Like, $5 a month, girl. I don't know. But maybe next month I'll buy, like, Sohyun instead of Soyons. I don't know. I'll just, like, go back and forth on it. But 
I don't know, she's like creeping up the biases. I was gonna buy Shinwi and then I like got wrecked by Sohyun. I don't know what's happening. Also, I grabbed way too many sleeves, holy shit. Okay, this is the last card I have to sleeve. Oh, there's a freaking hair. Okay, let me put these other sleeves away really quick. Oh, wait, there's one more card here, oops. <laughs> Um, okay, let me sleeve this last one. Okay, let me put these sleeves away and then we can get started. My room is like such a mess and I have so much shit I have to do. I have to like pack um, and also I have to clean my room obviously and then I have homework that I have to finish up as well before I leave. And sorry, I like can't talk and do this at the same time and it's like so much on my brain that I'm like, I don't know what to do. It's really just, it's really just Triple S and Luna today, holy shit. But yeah, it's just like, I don't know. I'm going crazy right now. This is the little stack we got today. I don't have a lot of cards left to store, so that's also kind of why I wanted to get this out of the way because some of these cards I've had for a while, so. Anyway, we're gonna get started. First, we have my OT12 Luna binder. And for that, I just have one card for Hula Hoop, which you probably saw it already. Um, I just, I kind of, I'm like debating collecting OT12 for Hula Hoop or not. Like, I don't know if I want to, but I just have this Yojin card. I also have some other Hula Hoop cards. I might put this up for trade just to try and get um, these last two cards I'm missing for Heiju and Jinsel. And I might actually replace Heiju with Hyunjin. I'm not sure, um, oh my gosh, okay wait, I'm actually gonna double sleeve these, or double side these for now. But yeah, I've had this Yojin card for like, since Hula Hoop came out, I'm pretty sure, and I actually lost it for such a long time, and then I started displaying it on my shelf just cause, um, but now I want to store it. But yeah, I'm just gonna store it for now, so I just put it on the back of this Go On. We'll see if I actually do end up collecting OT12 for Hula Hoop because like I kind of also want to collect OT12 um, Multiply Multiply and OT11 Luminous. We'll see though, like their Japanese cards are just harder to find and they're typically more expensive so this might just be like a back burner type thing but we can move on now. Next we have the wrong binder. Next is my OT12, or wrong binder again, holy shit. Here we go, this is the right binder. <laughs> this is my like Luna non-album binder and hold on. Um, I'm going through like a Hyunjin phase, right? And I just kind of have some Hyunjin cards I want to keep. Actually, maybe, hold on. Okay, I have this one Hyunjin pub from 12. And if you can see, Jin Soul is on like this poster in the back. Kind of cute, no? So I kind of want to keep it. Oh my god. But yeah, I really downsize. Oh my god, let me show you actually how I changed this collection. I had my top three lined up for this. And now it's literally just Jin Soul. Except for this, I did keep this. And I did keep, I think I'm going to keep OT12 for the concert cards too. But I did take them out of my binder. But... Yeah, this is like the new setup I did for all of this. It's kind of sad, but I don't know. Also, I didn't know that these Tokyo trading cards were like boycott um, cards. I had no idea. So I'm actually not going to collect these because um, I didn't know they were from the boycott. I just saw new Luna cards and I was like, oh, cute. I've never seen those. Turns out they're boycott items though. Um, let me Let me rearrange this. Move the mood lamp. I also move the two orbit concert cards, like photo book cards here. So concert casual, and then the superstar cards, the mood lamp, and then these are from the record finale um, photo or like photo book thing. Um, I'm actually gonna move this singing in the rain one in the middle. Okay, but yeah, but yeah. As you can see, like the only thing I did keep with my top three for were pops. Um. So we have Midnight here, and then more Midnight. And I have this Hyunjin, I have no idea what store this is from, but I low-key want to like, keep her. So I'm actually just gonna put her in the back. This is where I'm gonna put like Jinsil's K-Town for you. 
called but yeah i'm just gonna put her in the back here for now but yeah as you can see i just kept like this and then like for the season's greetings you know whatever i kept just ginsel for that um so i don't know but that's just how i'm gonna do it for now but also it like freed up so much space so maybe i'll re-expand this who knows okay next we have my post luna collection and first we have lucemble so let me just flip to them i have two cards to store the first one is for the ever music version of the album i just have vivi's um space version which is this one very cute i love that they kept their member colors by the way like i'm really grateful that the company their companies now haven't changed their member colors because that'd be quite tragic um but i cannot believe i didn't pull a single hyunjin for the ever music really tragic um and then i also pulled yojin because at for the ever music card because at the concert i saw them in uh or well the, the, the showcase or whatever i saw them in oakland and i bought three signed albums um and i ended up getting hyunjin yojin and go on so i need to get vivi and heiju's um of these but that's just it for now and then i also got i bought some pops Okay, so my albums I pre-ordered from Makestar, or ordered from Makestar, I don't remember, but I got three Lucky Draws. These are the ones I got. Um, I got Hyunjin, Vivi, and Heiju. I was kind of hoping to get Go One instead of Heiju, but it's okay. But I don't actually know how much of these I'm going to keep. I kind of just want to keep Hyunjin pods. Like, I did join a Go for another Hyunjin pod, so I might collect, like, I might... I used to collect Sean from Billy, and I would like occasionally collect pops of hers every era, just like cute ones that I liked or whatever. So I might do that again for just Hyunjin. I don't know. Because like their pops are just really cute. So yeah, but I just have Hyunjin, Vivi, and Heiju. I only bought three albums, so I only got three of the pops. But yeah, this was just from like a lucky draw event and these were the lucky draws i got these are from make star if i didn't mention that already i think i did though um so yeah um but we can move on now to my next binder the next collection i have cards for is triple s and i'm completing Revolution. um i'm just so happy with like my triple s progress obviously it's need to work on acid angel from asia and i still have to work on evolution obviously but i'm very happy otherwise like with how my collection is going i really like collecting triple s so i don't know but first we have sohan's 216 from muhan yeah you can see how damaged my card is but yeah so this ot8 set is done oh my goodness if only kaede was in her like white um shoot outfit and that hand was behind a white wall or like the backdrop it would be just such a perfect set um but it's still very cute like soyon's card shinwi's nian's hidden's like these are just so pretty but next we have the 217 for sohyun which hers are like the only one that stands out i feel like in this set but yeah i have this one very pretty but like her cards are like super this one's not that bad but this card is like kind of grainy quality so i don't know what's up with that because all the other cards are pretty clear but yeah we have this page done so the album cards for Revolution have fully completed i'm obsessed they're just so pretty oh my goodness okay and then lastly, I have Hayden's money sticker for this page. So I'm fully completing the era, like I said. The only thing is, I don't know if I'm going to keep these stickers in here because Evolution didn't do them. And I would kind of like to keep this just album cards, but um, I don't know. Maybe I'll leave it in here for now, but let's just take a little look here. So I have 216. 217 and the stickers and, and revolution is done 
Lovelution is my favorite unit for Triple S, so I'm just so happy to have their stuff done. Um, especially because, like, some of these cards are really, really cute. Like, I think Hayden has, like, my favorite cards, and then maybe... I don't know. I just really like these cards, so I'm really happy to have this era done. Especially because, like, this era specifically means a lot to me with Triple S, so... Yeah. But anyway, we can move on now to... Uh, Artemis. Moving back into this binder, I have my Artemis collection. Um, for this, I just have some pods, so I'm gonna get another page really quick. There's hairs. Okay, so I said I wanted to collect it, like one more OT3 set of pods to fill up a nine pocket. However, I might actually not do that. I'm not sure like what I want to do right now, um, but I'm just gonna store what I have. So. First, I have this. I think this was a pre order set for Make Star, but it's. Oh, wait, this is the wrong card. But it's pretty cute. They're holding these little rabbits. Um, let's see, I have Kim Lip. And then I have Gin Souls. Like, these are just really, really cute cards. So, I kind of want to keep them just because they're adorable, but. I also like kind of only want to keep Jinsoul. Like I don't want to collect like OT sets for pods, so I don't know. And then this is Chetty's, very cute. I think she actually is my favorite. Like her pose is just so cute. Also, like why is Kim lit behind a different wall? Um, and then the next I have is also from Make Star. Um, this was from like a video call event, but yeah, this is like the Varsity Jacket set. Um, so we have Kim Lip, very pretty. I don't know what Mod House's obsession is with doing these like Polaroid style pods because they either do like selfie Pokemon sized cards like for pods or they do Polaroid style photo cards, like regular photo card size. I don't know, but here's Jinsoul. And then here we have Chetty. Once again, I think she is my favorite for this. She's just so good at taking, like, photo card pictures. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's just that for that. Maybe I'll get another set. Maybe not. We'll see. Maybe in the future, these four cards will be gone. Who knows? Um, but now we can move on to just, like, Artemis. Um, like, album cards. First, for the first page, I have this Jinsel, her 208 card. Like I said before, I had her complete. I just hadn't stored everything yet. Um, also, like, the person I was supposed to trade for, I think, this Chetty, they haven't gotten back to me yet. So they haven't sent a video. So I'll have to DM them after this. But yeah, I just have Jinsel. I'm so grateful to have pulled her entire set because y'all know she's my ult. She's my bias. So she's done. And then I'll have this Chetty on the way, hopefully, fingers crossed. So I'll just be missing three, I'll, miss, I'll be missing six cards for this era. So I really need to get these Kim lips. God damn. But hopefully I can get this card and kind of work on this a bit more. But fortunately, because they did so many events, like the cards originally when the era first came out, people were like overpricing the hell out of these for whatever reason. But now they're pretty cheap, pretty easy to get. So yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Um, and then next we have this page, which I'm going to be finishing. First, I have Kim Lip's ID. Um, this whole page is going to be in white sleeves, just because. And then I also have Chetty's ID. I love these outfits. And then I also have Jinsoul's ID. Oh my goodness, who would have thought? Yeah, Jinsoul. And then I have this clear card for Kim Lip. This is the small one, I believe. And then I have Jin Sol's small clear card as well. And then I also have Kim Lip's large one. So this page is done. Looks pretty cute. Um, I'm kind of glad I collected the, like, misprint set, just because, um, I don't know. 
it just fills out the page nicely. Also, this card got pretty crooked. The only thing that sucks about these is like they don't really stay straight because they're like plasticky, so they move around a lot, but I think it's pretty cute. So here's like the Artemis progress for version up. And then I have to set up for Heejin. I'll do that probably in the next video. Um, so I also have to set up for Chu. I think I made fillers already though. I just have to store them. So yeah, and then this page. But yeah, we can move on actually to my last binder. Here is the final binder I have to sort cards for. This is my non-album Soyon Triple S binder. I'm gonna complain about this binder forever. So if you're annoyed how I complain about this binder every video, I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. This binder fucking sucks, okay? Anyway, first I have postcards. These are from the K-Town, like, some event from like assemble era like around that time um so first i have her unit with kotane i'm still missing her card with or her postcard with uh, maki if you have it and you want to sell it for five bucks please dm me that's how much i paid for all these by the way that's why i'm asking for that price um and then i also have this one of her pretty cute i'm just gonna put these in here for now though and then I also have her other solo one. So yeah, I'm just missing one, sadly. But it's okay. Uh, but we can move on now to just like regular photo card size inclusions. Also have like some of her, I have like two of her Atom objects on the way too. So yeah. And then for this, I actually decided to keep my top four for the rubber duck pops, but they're gonna be out of order when I store them here. So just, I hope that's fine. Next I have the, or but first I have this crystallized pop. I don't remember what store this is from, but it's a clear card. Um, so yeah, but yeah, this, this like, this binder is so cursed. Like everything is so out of order. Like this page we have assemble, crystallize, assemble, crystallize. Um, and then for this next page, we're starting off with Revolution. Oops. This is from my music taste. I don't know around, but this was from like my, one of my fan signs that I did. Um, but yeah, they did these like up close pops, which are pretty cute. And all my stuff fell on the floor. Okay, next we have, um, the Shinwi Rubber Ducky pop. Um, pretty cute. Once again, though, like I said, like, Sohyun is, like, kind of becoming more of a bias than Shinmi is, so I might actually not keep her stuff that I have left over, but I'm not sure yet. Um, and then next I have this pop, which was given to me by somebody at the LA concert. Um, someone that I'm now friends with, so... that I said? Okay, it kind of, okay. Somebody that I'm now friends with. I feel like I slurred my word and it sounds like I said I'm not friends with, um, but yeah. Somebody I'm friends with gave me this at the LA show. So yeah. And this is also from my music taste. I think this is from like the like cute um themed cards or whatever. Oh, we're on the other side now. Um, but yeah. But holy shit, this binder is so <laughs> fucking messy. I cannot. Um, and then next I have this crystallized pod. Levolution and crystallized. Okay. This one I traded for. I traded a spare neon card for this. I don't know what store this is from, but yeah, just like cute bubbles. This might be a touch plus or something. I don't remember. Or no, it's not. It's, um, fuck. I don't remember. I don't remember. Okay. Whatever. Anyway, next I have this. I think this is from Everline. I want to say this assemble pop from Everline. I think it's from Everline. They're pretty cute, but it's crazy how many Polaroid style stuff they do. Like I don't understand it. Not that I'm complaining, I don't mind the Polaroid style photo cards, um, but it's just like, it's always Polaroid style, it's very weird. And then next we have this rubber ducky pop of Hayden from Revolution. This was from like the first Make Star round, by the way. I I know some of these, other ones I do not. But yeah, the rubber duck stuff was from the first round of Make Star for the video call event. And then for the in-person fan sign for the first round of Make Star, they did these tiara pubs. Oh my god, there's a fucking mama. Um, and I bought Soyeon from somebody, so yeah. I actually like this, these tiara ones more than I like the rubber duck ones. But it's okay. I have both, so it doesn't matter. And then the final card I have to store is for Yubin. 
and it's also a rubber duck pod for her from the same thing so yeah she's pretty cute but i don't know like i was considering collecting like an ot8 love set or something just because they're like my unit that i'm biased to but i don't really want to collect that many pobs for triple s like girl i don't know also this binder's starting to fill out a little bit sort of not really um six pages left um but anyway let's go over what i stored today um so i stored this crystal eyes pob these level edition pobs and this crystallized one down here oh my god this, this pob like <laughs> um then i got like assemble and then Levolution, and then also these k-town postcards anyway that was everything for this video so what the hell my dog is barking anyway thank you so much if you made it this far base i really appreciate you for watching you can follow me on my Instagram. The top one, DMW Teddy, is my trade and sale account. And the bottom one, S1 Cosmos, is my collection account. All my supplies are linked down below. So if you're curious where anything is from, you can check there. Nothing is affiliate. Um, I really appreciate it if you made this far once again. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye! <laughs>